But yeah, man. I met Britt. She was selling that box across the bridge in South Carolina. Hey, what's up, gang? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, why you so stupid? Yeah. What's up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Brittany Brienne, and today I am back with another video. We are here. You need to drink some more that you're about to spill it on the blanket. Okay. I have it. Blanket. have my cup here. We got these for uh, one of our wedding gifts. This one says hers. He has one that says his. Really? Mm hmm Okay, Britt, tell me what video you're going to do today. Today, I have my husband with me. Mm-hmm. And we are going to do a question and answer video. So I asked these questions maybe last month sometime because I was like, what you going to get on board? So just in case he ever do want to do a question and answer video, let me ha let me go ahead and get y'all to send me some questions so that we can get that in. So I do have some questions from Instagram. And I sent them to Fortune's phone. And we just going to kind of go through them and answer them. The first question is, what is the exact prayer you said to get such a good man? And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> these folks know what's going on. They really do. Look at that. I can't even make this shit up. Uh, uh, that is the question. So, um, I was definitely not looking for fortune. Bro, they looking for word for word prayers. Okay. I, I didn't have a prayer. I didn't yeah, say did. an exact prayer. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have an exact prayer, but I just thank God now every single day for my man. I don't think nobody think that's a good enough answer. Brent. But I didn't have a prayer. I was 18 when I met you. I wasn't praying for you. I was booked and busy, honey. Booked and busy. <laughs> booked and busy. Fire your ass up. <laughs> All right. The next question. Do you feel like it's harder to go out on date nights with each other now that you have a child? What you say? I mean, I'm going to say yeah, but it don't be impossible and no, no, nothing like that. You know, it still be happening. He just be blocking this shit. Yeah, so either we'll go on a date night and we'll take him with us because that's our baby and... He's your coming. He can go wherever we go. But if we really do want some long time, my mama and my family, they like they right here, so they can always keep them. So I drop them off in a second over they there. They can't always, though, because she be acting funny sometimes. Yeah, she be talking funny. I ain't the type of grandma that babysit, but y'all know she's the type of grandma that babysit. So I will take Wolf over there whenever it's necessary. If we going somewhere, if we going to a concert, if we going wherever, and we just want to have our adult time, he's going over there. So, I don't think it's, like, harder. Um, like at it's night, harder. At, it's yeah, at night. Especially, impossible. like, at night time. Like, when we're not even, not even not even a date. But, like, we're trying to have our alone time. And, you know, trying to do our thing. That baby is a blocker. Yeah. Yeah, he's a blocker. For real, for real. <laughs> all right, next question. How did you all meet? And how do you get through tough times? Well, we met in college. We will give y'all a story time later on about like our whole how we met story. But we met, I was a freshman. What were you, a junior? Yeah. So we met at school um, and we had a class together. So we'll just say that. That's how we met at Savannah State University. That's not how we met. That's not how we he met. has his own version of this. Like I, I say said, a real story, a story on a real video. We will have a story right, time about this. It. That's not how we met, though. Oh, okay. Well, how do we get through tough times? So when we argue, um, I don't really argue. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't argue. So can you sit back some? I'm too close. Like taking over. Yeah, like no, no, you don't gotta bring the camera up closer. I was trying to move it back. <laughs> it's good like that. So when we argue, depending on like how serious the argument is, depends on like how we finna get through this. If we really have a serious, and we never really have serious, serious arguments. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think we have like we we've had some issues, but nothing like 
like that'll uh, jeopardize our relationship. Like, yeah, we have. You think so? I broke up with you before, Britt. We have a story town our breakup too. Yeah, it wasn't telling what really happened. It wasn't even a real breakup, first of all. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You got no. put out. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. You got put out. Where? You know what? The first breakup? Um, I thought we never had a breakup. We never you broke up. We actually people. never broke up, but like our whatever. Anyway, so what we get through tough times is me personally, I like to talk things out. So if we're going through something, we're arguing. I want to finish arguing. I want to keep talking about the situation until there's a solution. This one, on the other hand, he likes to keep the shit to himself. He likes to not talk about it at all. And then one day, like a come, like days later after we haven't been really talking, go ask some irrelevant shit like, "What we eating, nigga? We not talking, but we're hungry." And he think that's how we make up. How would you, you got anything else to say about that? I mean, not really, man. You know, you got to give people space. See, he like to give space. Like, he like to give space to me. We, why we going to go around being mad at each other for days? I wasn't being mad for no days. Or being petty or being, like, know, or I not talking and being be in petty. our, being our happiest selves. We could have just talked it out. Like, why we going to walk around having some tension? You had tension? Sometimes. Why you say something? Shut the hell up. Next question. I'm out here Next. peaceful and shit, and you have not <laughs> pressure. Next question. All right. Have you and Fortune always had a great relationship? Because y'all seem so laid back. How, how would you answer? I mean, man, you know, it's going to juice my person, huh? Look at I'm sorry. Now I'm getting too close to the camera. Fuck. You see Find a good place. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna say y'all always had a good relationship because, you know, when I first met Brittany, I really wasn't fucking with her like that. I really wasn't. Lies on top of lies. You gonna answer the question then? We've always had a great relationship throughout our entire relationship. Our relationship actually moved so quick from the friendship that it was to the relationship side of things. And we've always had a great relationship. You felt like we were friends first? We was friends when I had a second. You don't remember the morning to just chill in the diner? That's it. Bro, we ain't going on no dates. We ain't going on no dates. We did go on dates. Our first date was Valentine's. That was the first time I had to talk to you. It was on Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's not the first time you talked to me. Right. So what about all those things, all those that all those mornings in the diner? With who? First semester? With I mean, who? second semester, the beginning of the second semester. With who? Us. Wrong nigga. We would talk. We both had an early class, and we had like a ten o'clock class or whatever. And we used to go both in the diner at the same time. You don't remember that? What are you talking about? This was the same semester we actually got together. So you don't remember the diner experience? <sighs> Brit. Met on Valentine's Day. Well, no, we ain't really even meet for real. Nigga, we had a class together starting in January. No, we, we didn't. met in class. You gonna need to pull up the schedule. You got the syllabus. I can't believe we're going through this right now. Okay. What well, is the question? The question? <laughs> <laughs> so this shit getting fabricated. Have we always had a good relationship? How yes. Did you get to that point. Just say yeah. No, bro. you the one time I said no. At first, I wasn't fucking with her like that. I mean, I wasn't. When were you kind of grew on me? Okay, so regardless of that, we wasn't even in a relationship yet at that time. Since we have been in a relationship, I like I think it's been pretty good. I think it has been. Okay, I can't complain okay. on camera. What else I got? Do you all want more kids? Yes. How many more kids do we want? I want at least two more. When? He wants me to be done having kids by 32. How old are you now? 26. That's, that's enough time. So, we want at least two more. So, a total of three, at least. Nah, three is not at least. That's an okay number. At least There's three. no need to go over three. And unless we got all three boys, I'm going for girls. For four girls. Nah. At least three. Let me see if I got another question. You send me some more questions. Okay. 
Who is the one who is always late or takes the longest to get ready? Go ahead, Britt. Let him know. He I is think so you went in both of those. He is. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, y'all. It's like genetic for me. It's genetic. It's her, it's her mama's fault. My mom and my daddy are both so slow. Like, I swear, everywhere we went growing up, we was always late to. Your mama did move slow. Your daddy just don't care about nobody's time. So, I don't know if I inherited some of, a little bit of both of those. You did. Um, I can get ready in 10 minutes and be able to go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know why. Like, I don't even know why. Especially now that we got wealth, I be the one getting ready for the most part. So, that slows me down even more. Because fortunately, like, he don't know how to pick out what clothes. I pick out his clothes really quick. It just don't be what you want him to wear. So, yeah, um, I definitely take the longest to get ready. No lie. Even when I got braids and stuff and I'm going to do my hair, I don't know what it be. You ready for the next question? Mm -hmm. How long have y'all been together and what advice would you give a couple that's planning on getting married? Okay. So me and Fortune will be at eight years on Valentine's Day this year. So in a couple weeks, I guess, will be eight years. It's been eight great years. Um, what advice would I give a couple? That, mm. I want to get married. Yeah, man. Just keep on thinking about that shit before you do it. Why would you say keep on you thinking? Keep about on it. thinking and keep on saving. Keep on saving. Definitely. Weddings are not cheap. You don't um, even need all that. But most importantly, something like I guess I wouldn't even have to, I didn't have to think of or consider too much, but like make sure you actually know the person. And you love the person, and you know that you want to. This gonna be the one and done. Like I never even think. Like we've been together so long. It's like I've been knowing, like four years ago. Like okay, I've been kind of like what you know, waiting on my ring for like five years now. I'm just waiting. But like no, I told him like like a month or two in in our relationship. Like you auditioned to be my husband. It's kind of forward, don't you think? I knew, I knew then. Like I had already seen it. So. I would just say that before you get married and get into that lifelong commitment, make sure you actually know the person that you're with because folks don't be knowing folks. Okay. Anything else? I mean, <coughs> on that question, I mean, shit, like you said, make sure you know who you're dealing with. But if you the nigga, though, bro, make sure you got you some money, bro. A lot of it. Because they finna take it. All of it. Man, you'll be like me. <laughs> what? Hey, these questions is crazy. You can't mm. be jumping the question. You gotta say it right in the in the. We moment. already answered this one. Do y'all want another baby soon? See, we already talked about that. We talked about it. Brittany said she wants another baby. I do want another baby soon. But soon could be like two years, so I'm cool with soon. Soon so for soon, me. Soon like, like two years. I want to get pregnant soon. Very soon. I'm not trying to be pregnant that soon. <laughs> I'm not. Next question. When did you know, Britt, when did you know it was time to let your hoes go? And then I say Britt. <laughs> they sent it to you. That way I asked for Brit, a couple when questions. when did you know answer. it was time to let your hoes go, Britt? Okay. Tell them the real truth. Okay. So... When I met Fortune and got Fortune, I would say I had hoes. Oh, you had hoes. You had hoes too. Don't act like he ain't had hoes. We'll say some of that for the story time. I didn't know it was time to let hoes go until a bridge started trying to scare hoes away. That's when the hoes was started leaving. Yeah, they had to go. The fuck? I had a drawer in the room and everything. She didn't have it's a drawer. Time for First of all, that drawer belonged to a whole bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> He stayed off campus, y'all. And I used to be up at, at some point. I was over there every day. Ain't no other hoes. All right, like I said, we met. We both was in other, dealing, doing other shit. So it wasn't like we met with intentions on like getting together. We both had our own stuff going on. So. What stuff you had going on? We just probably talked about how we had hoes. We being honest here, right? No, you never been this honest with me. I'm learning all kinds of shit today. Clearly, I you definitely. Go ahead, though. 
anyways so yeah when i started being over there every single day spending like all my time with him texting him all the time it was like yeah i don't need any other people no i don't got time for no other niggas and when i felt like that he ain't had time for no other bitches because you felt like that yeah it was over like february 14th we started dating a month in like it was like okay no need for hoes so yeah no hoes that council They got canceled. Do you think you could forgive your significant other if they cheated on you? Forgiving is a lot. You know, you married, you gotta forgive people. I mean, okay. So, cheating is not a thing in this relationship. Thank goodness. Like, that's not a problem. I haven't had to worry about him cheating. If he has ever cheated. He said the first year of our relationship, like when we first started talking, we had hoes. So You had hoes. I didn't know that. You so had hoes. You said the first year, but you just told Not me even the first you know, year. After a month in, you know, I ain't that's what I'm saying. No, no, that's what I'm saying. But no, what I was going back what, what I was going back to was that first summer when you were still in school, I don't really know what you were doing. Because you know what you was up here doing. No. You had hoes. No. Yeah. So I'm saying like I don't know if you was cheating, but you ain't never. I never felt like he was, or he never gave me a reason to believe that he was cheating. Cause we still spent a lot of our time together. Like even in summer, I was up here and then he was still in Savannah. But like two weeks in, he was up there, then I was down here. It was just like we we were spending time together still, but you know it was still a lot of free time. So I don't really know what he was doing, but he never had gave me the reason. To think he was cheating. Um, so could I forgive him if he cheated? Okay, so we might have to do another story time where we might have to do another um <laughs> Why does this require another video? Because you shouldn't have to cheat on me. You ain't no reason. You are interested in somebody. Which you shouldn't even. Don't go too far Which you shouldn't even be. Don't go too deep into the video, Brick. You shouldn't not even be interested in anybody. Don't go too deep in the video, Brick. But if you was. Too much. It's too much. Just let me know. Just let me know. Okay, next. Oh, would you better forgive me if I cheated on you? Hmm. Let's see what's on the next question. Have you cheated on me? Mm-hmm. I ain't guess I ain't answered the question either. You didn't. I mean, because it's just my husband, it ain't gonna okay, no, I don't even want to answer this question because that next. shit is not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> that shit better not happen. Alright. We're gonna leave that question alone. How much did your wedding average around? You don't have to tell the exact number. Well, we actually plan on doing another video about that. We got also. a whole lot of videos we're planning on doing, but one day Britt gonna start taking this, taking y'all more seriously. No, we're gonna, gonna do it ASAP. We, yeah, we actually at our wedding, we actually did write down all the cause of the wedding. So very, very soon we will be doing that video also, breaking down the cost of every single thing for our wedding. And um breaking down all the cost of our wedding. <laughs> And, you know, letting y'all know how much everything costs, like, in detail. So, that video will be coming, but, um, what would you say about the wedding? Damn, yeah, more rough estimate. It was at least, like, 20 bands, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a decent number. Might be a little bit more than that, but... I don't know, man. Y'all get a breakdown in a second. All right, you guys. So that was all the questions that we had from you guys. If y'all all want a part two or have any other questions that were not answered today, send them shits in, man. Yeah, go ahead and just drop them down in the comment section below. Like I said, I had asked those questions. I had asked for those questions on Instagram a while ago. So if you missed that post, definitely comment down below in this video, and we will do a part two for you guys.
And whatever else y'all want to see, just go ahead and let us know. It was great keeping in with y'all today. And we are out. I think they did a good job with the questions, with y'all answers. Mm -hmm. mm. You don't? I thought it was okay. Let's see. They'll let you know. Okay. And we are out. And we are out. Peace. What? No. Just make it they can't see you. They see me. They see me. They see me. Mm. No, this. You like it? No. I like it. I like it though. It is too close. The shower. I got my pants. I can't say it. We're at the shower. This is Nicole looking oh so beautiful. Yes. Look at Winter Mama. <laughs> looking good, dog. You're looking good. But it's so pretty in here. I can see. But the theme is Winter Wonderland because that is her name. Winter. But it's so cute. She wanted me to taste the drink, y'all. They got